We all find peace in different ways. Linda Lewis finds her peace in a more artistic form, quilting. Linda Lewis has been quilting for nearly a decade. We had an opportunity to speak with her during her quilting exhibit at St. Augustine's University. It all started with a fish fry. So I had a fish fry for his staff. Um, it's at my house and when the teachers got there, they were like, can we see your quilts? So I went up, showed everybody all the quilts I had. Jenny suggested, oh, we should do a show. Thanks to Virginia Tyler, professor of art at SAU, we were able to witness some of Lewis's great work. Lewis began quilting when she became involved with her church's quilting ministry. I do belong to the African American Quilt Circle. We get together, we meet once a month, we do um, classes, we share different techniques. Quite a few of them actually have a deeper meaning. We did an exhibit that had to do with um, some of the current themes that are going on, the, the violent themes right now, and two or three of my quilts had to do with um, the killing of black men or killing of young people, really. Um, one I call Black Lives Hanging by a Thread. Uh, that was really, I haven't lost anyone, but you know, I have a son, I have a grandson, so the death of a young black man was really kind of important to me. And, you know, that was an important quilt. I wasn't sure when I put it together. They wanted quilts to say something, but I thought it might be too controversial. So I actually had to show them what I was thinking of doing before I actually could put it in the show, and they said it was okay. There used to be a commercial a few years ago, Do You Know Where Your Children Are? And it came on about 10 o'clock at night, and it was directed at everyone, you know, do you know where your children are? It's 10 o'clock at night. And along with the theme of uh, Black Lives Matter, I used a woman who was crying. So this woman is crying because she knows where her children are. Her children are dead and they're marching to heaven to become angels. So those are her tears of grief. Every quilt you work on, I think, even if it doesn't have a meaning, it's personal because it's your work, it's your time. It takes a lot to kinda, you, you make a quilt for someone and they're taking it home and they're gonna put it on their bed and so it's like, that's almost like a piece of me that you're sleeping with. So, you know, quilts are very personal. At one point in time, Lewis had a hard time concentrating on quilting due to the passing of her mother. My mom died, it will be three years ago in April. When I got back here, she was in Boston. When I got back to Durham, I couldn't really fix my mind to concentrate on anything really intricate or you know hard but I made strip quilts and I would go to the scrap exchange and they used to have bags of fabric of all one color strips but all one color and I would just go in and I would buy I went through the whole primary colors red orange green purple blue black I made a quilt in every color just strip quilts nothing fancy and by the time I got through with that I felt cleansed enough that I could go back to actually thinking about making a quilt. Linda Lewis enjoys making special quilts for her family. She shared with us one of her grandson's favorite quilts, which she refers to as a memory quilt. I cleaned out his room one day and he had about 50 t-shirts that he couldn't wear anymore. And I cut off the, the design piece and I stabilized it and put it together in a quilt. Some of he looked at it, he said, oh, I used to sleep in that. Oh, I used to wear that when I played ball. One of Linda's favorite pieces of all time is The Quilted Lady. It's unique to me. It's one of the first kind of free-flowing quilts I did. I used uh, pieces of my hair in it. Uh, 
you know, the decoration I used in my hair, the cowrie shell, the gold ornaments, those were all you know, very personal and to have it done, it was my first quilt like that. So that meant a lot and nobody I knew had a quilt like that. In addition to her vibrant quilts, Linda also crafts postcards, baby burp cloths, stuffed animals, table runners, napkins, and children's books. If you would like to contact Linda Lewis about her work, you can contact her by phone or email.